We all know what Christmas is truly about. Drink driving. No, no, obviously not. Apparently it's about making gingerbread trains as well as construction Christmassy. This does feel a little bit like a Zoella video from about five years ago, doesn't it? Although she wouldn't make jokes about drink driving, so there you go. I mean, let's be honest, you know, alcoholism, not a laughing matter, particularly not for the families. So, Merry Christmas. Someone's overcooked the gingerbread already. I mean, that's a good start, isn't it? You pay for something and you can't even bake it properly. I mean, I should really be baking this myself, but do I look like a baker? No. Essentially, all I've got to do is put it together and decorate it, so I don't really know how difficult that can be. Oh no, not much of a piper. Not like that, no. I never really understood the whole sort of hoo-ha around baking. Do you know what I mean, at the end of the day, you whisk some stuff up, put it on a tray, shove it in the oven, 180 degrees. Job done. I mean, a gingerbread train. Whose idea is to make a gingerbread train? I feel like I'm sort of Francis, what's his name? Francis Boulevard or something? I don't know, his real name's like Ryan or something. Do you know what I mean? So why are we calling him Francis for a starter? I need the white. Go on. Oh, oh, go on. Oh. Yes. Oh. Oh. Oh, go on. Yes. Oh. No one saw that, did they? I've got no uh no shell in it, that's that's the good thing. Right, oh okay, that oh no, oh. What am I supposed to do with this then? Just sat here with a yoke command. Executive decision is being made. It is going inside a Belvita wrapper. Thank God for Belvita's sponsor me. I'm starting to regret making this video now. Looks like someone's thrown up. Oh, Great British Bake Off. Ooh, can't wait to win the crown, whatever they win. They don't even win a crown. Is it an apron they win? What do they win? Oven glove? Rolling pin? Like a golden rolling pin? I don't know. I don't know what they win on Bake Off, but they go on it, don't they? All I'm saying is baking's easy. Take two. Oh, no one saw that last one, did they? Just want the white. No sh- oh. oh! Okay. Okay, here we go. That's it. Come to daddy. I'm bringing you out into the world. Oh, there we go. Go on. Yes, in you go. That still looks like nothing in there. Oh, I've broken the yoke again. I've bro- oh, bro- oh. Oh no. Oh, oh, oh. Oh, oh, Shell's in there now. Michelle, Michelle's in there. I'm starting to think I should have done this in the kitchen now. Like a normal human being. I need stiff peaks now, apparently. Sounds like a euthanism. Beat it until you have stiff peaks. Looks like phlegm. I honestly don't know like what stiff peaks. That's not stiff, is it? So can you eat that then? That's raw egg, isn't it? No, it says you can't because it will have salmonella or something in. What? Well, is this trying to kill me? The internet seems to be giving mixed responses around eating. Egg whites. Why does it say that on the box if you can't eat them? If you do want some more Christmassy content, then go check out the podcast. We've got a Christmas special out this Friday on the 24th. Look forward to that. Right, I nearly got poisoned, but I'm back. Turns out you can't eat raw egg whites. So I'm doing something with butter instead, I don't really know. We're now going to use icing sugar. About 200 grams. Just put it all in. This feels reckless. It really does. But I'm a reckless kind of guy. you got to beat it up now. I have arthritis for Christmas. Jesus. Speaking of Jesus, we should really talk about the guy. It is his birthday at the end of the day. Uh, interesting guy, you know, born into a very privileged situation. When your dad's the big man, you know, he's God himself, then, uh, you know, you do have a bit of a silver spoon in your mouth, don't you? And then he went off the rails a bit, started doing the whole sort of water into wine. I don't know, I think those were his like university days where you just become a bit of an alcoholic, do you know what I mean? Because let's be honest, turning water into wine that's what an alcoholic does. Next minute he's walking on water, showing off is what he's doing. He's showing off in front of the other people. He did go off the rails a little bit, but I think lots of young people go through that period and so I don't hold it against him. And I think the whole, you know, getting put on a cross thing turns out, you know, character progression, wasn't it? It was all about character building. He came back stronger from that. And at the end of the day, when you can walk on water and do all that, I mean, wouldn't you have thought if you could walk on water, you can probably untie yourself from a cross, can't you, or that kind of stuff. He came back to life, for God's sake, so... I don't know, that's always baffled me a bit. He seemed to pick and choose when he had special powers. Right, so I've done something here. I don't know, it doesn't look very smooth. Oh, I just had a drop of water. Drop of water done, that's a bit better. Done the icing, Jesus Christ. Thank God I didn't have to do the gingerbread as well. So now you just pop it in, in the bag. Right, so here it goes. You've got to cut the end of the bag off. Okay, okay, right. And now you just pipe. Yes. 
Yes, I'm a genius. Right, the first bit we've got to do is pipe together the train, apparently. I don't know, I assume this is how you do it. I'm piping! I am piping. Oh my god, I'm amazing at it as well. It's okay, that's probably a bit too much. Got a bit overboard, but that's what happens when you pipe for the first time. I think that's just supposed to go on top. Voila. Oh no, was that supposed to go in the middle? What part of the train is that? Turns out those are inside panels. Hang on. Right, so I think that's got to go on that side. Like that. Plonk that on top. Bit of this. Look at that. It's quite satisfying, actually. What does this even taste of? Let me have a little taster. Oh, oh, oh god, that's a bit too much. Yeah, it's just butter and sugar. I mean, quite literally, it's just butter and sugar. Right, I think that then goes on there. Honestly, I didn't think building trains was this complicated. And then this goes on like that. That? Really? What's that supposed to be? You gotta go around the wheels, give it some alloys. Oh, yes. Doing it for Francis. You would be proud. Beautiful. You get chocolate buttons, about four of them. Cheapskates. Let me just try them. Yeah, decent. I don't know what you're supposed to do there. Eh? Maybe I should put them in the centre. Get me on Bake Off. However I do it, it just looks rubbish. But maybe I'm going to go go faster stripe on the side. Yes, look at that. It's going faster. It's definitely not Northern Rail. Just full of train banter today. Now that is a train I get on. Let that set or do whatever it does. I'm going to pipe a bit more. Getting the hang of this now. Oh, we've got more buttons. They're not cheap skates after all. For equality. That's meant to be like the roof or something. What the hell is that? It's hollow. Let me have a little taster of what this gingerbread's like. I don't really like gingerbread to be honest. Do you know what? It's all right. I think the icing is the best bit. You can't beat butter and sugar. Well, I suppose you could. You could add chocolate to it. That's all right. Mmm. That's decent. Right, so we still need to put these in. I just, I think you just plonk it on, like that. Bit of icing again. And this one probably goes on, I don't know, like that. Sort of guesswork here, but I think the best sort of cooks out there, bakers, whatever you call them, there's always a bit of guesswork, isn't there? Probably just plonk that on. Just, it's a bit thick, this though, isn't it? Because whenever you ever bought a gingerbread man, or a gingerbread train, full stop, to be honest, but it's that thick. Mad. A little button there. Bit of icing around the windows, maybe. Yeah, brilliant. You can't really fault that, can you? There you go. And that's a train. There we go. That's supposed to be the full train. Like that. It just seems a bit unnecessary. Like, why? Why have we had to go to the effort of all this? Yeah, I don't really get what the point of making this is. You're just going to eat it, aren't you? You're always told as a kid, like, don't mess around with your food. Don't play with it. And that's all this has been, really. Just get it down, you. I'm not massively into gingerbread. It doesn't really taste of ginger, so it's all right. Nothing worse than a ginger. So what have we learned from this video? Um, we've learned that some people try and poison you with egg whites. But this turned out well. <sighs> I think we're just having a bit of a come down off the back of, you know, such a great baking experience. You know, you go through all that sort of baking stuff and then once you made it, it's all like, now what? Well, you have to eat it. Merry Christmas, I guess, you know. Uh, have a good one. I'll see you on Friday, the 24th of December, for the Christmas podcast. Don't forget to drop a like and subscribe. This is a bit different, this video. So, um, you know, support it. Otherwise, I'm going to look like a right knob. I think the hat's already done that, hasn't it, really? See you for Roast of the Year on the 31st. It's going to be a good one. Cheers.